This is a cat uh, with an abscess, and Dr. Fisher correctly didn't uh, did submit for anaerobes, and there were none there. So we can rule that out. And again, I'm largely ignoring the inner cocci. Now, I don't want this is all in wounds now. If it's an intercoccus anywhere else, I'm going to treat it. Okay. Uh, and in Boudreaux's case, I was very tempted to treat it. And, uh, and in fact, the agents we chose, at least the chloramphenicol, did treat it. But here we're looking at a bronch, uh, at an abscess in a cat. All right. So you look at the things that uh, I have as susceptible. Amicacin, yeah, but I'd rather not use it. Chloramphenicol, but not in cats, okay. Trimethoprim sulfa, but not in cats, okay. Carbapenem, mm-mm. Aminoglycoside, mm-mm. Doxycycline, uh-huh, okay. So uh, drain the abscess, and by the way, on cat bite abscesses, I don't know how severe this was. Uh, drainage is the biggest thing, and antibiotics are secondary. And teach your owners how to keep the opening clean so it continues to drain. One of the problems I would run into is I'd lance an abscess and then it'd scab over and fill up again. You need to teach the owner how to take some gauze and antiseptic and open up, uh, clean off those scabs so it continues to drain. Because of the delayed esophageal transit, I would want to use a doxycycline suspension in a cat rather than the tablets. If you're uh, in a practice that doesn't have the suspension and you have to use the tablets in a cat, warn the owner extensively, lube the tablet up with butter, margarine, and then get the owner to chase it with water and food because uh, you don't want to cause an esophagitis from one of these. <coughs> Just a couple more. Uh, a uh, former resident sent this to me. Uh, she's uh, in a specialty practice in uh, New York. But this is a cat that had a uh, cholangial hepatitis and the sample is from bile, two different E. coli's. And here I've gone through and already I d highlighted it already so I just pulled it in. But you can see what's susceptible here. Um, <coughs> Chloramphenicol, again, it's a cat, so that's kind of a out. Uh, Aminoglycoside, we'd rather not use. Uh, so carbapenem, doxycycline, or sofoxetin. Uh, <coughs> sofoxetin in hospital would be a good one. But doxycycline, again, if you know it's susceptible, there's nothing wrong with using an older drug. And it does go into the bile pretty well, so we use doxycycline again as the suspension. <coughs>